Hey, Ty, how are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Um, you have the distinct honor of playing with a bunch of different quarterbacks over the years here. Um, Rivers has got to be one of the more unique ones. I'm curious, what's your favorite part about playing with him the last 13 weeks? I just competitive, man. You know, he's just a lot of heart. Uh, he, he brings it each and every day. You know, we feed off his energy. And, you know, that's what you need at the quarterback position. And, you know, he's doing a tremendous job getting guys lined up. You know, he's seen a bunch of defenses, so he's making it um, pretty much easy for the rest of us. One of his former teammates told me that he he just never has a practice where he isn't all in. Like, he just never has a bad day. Have you felt that? Have you seen that? Oh, absolutely. You know, he's just, he's just always dialed in. You know, he's making sure, you know, guys are in the right spots. Um, guys are doing what we – what he needed him to do and you know we just follow his lead and you know he's just always always down there. Cool Erickson. Uh TY what is there is there something that you do or that he does that allows you to kind of have those catches where you've settled but then you kind of like move your hands to where your body's gonna go and kind of let the ball kind of take you where it needs to go? Is that is that him or is that you kind of adjusting to where the ball needs to go? Uh, both of us. I mean, we, we talk about, you know, certain spots, you know, certain spots he need me in, you know, certain spots I need to be in. So, uh, you know, it's a uh, bit of both of us. Steven Holder. Hey, T.Y., uh, over these years that you've been playing, uh, have you, what have you noticed about uh, pass interference calls? Um, I mean, it seems like they, they throw a lot more flags on defense today, but do you as a receiver, are you guys, like actively trying to, to draw flags at times or or you just playing and if you get the flag, you get the flag or how, how does that come into play at all? Uh, for me, I just, if I get it, I get it. I don't even, I don't even look for it no more. So, um, I mean, that's just um, DBs, you know, it's tight coverage. I mean, they get paid too. So, you know, they they always going to feel like it shouldn't be pass interference and we're going to feel like it should be pass interference. So it's 50-50 both ways. I mean, um, we get a call, we get it, we don't. We just got to keep playing through it and try to make, and try to make the play. George Bremer. QI, you've seen a lot of J.J. Watt over the years. How unique is his ability to kind of take over a game from his defensive position? Uh, it's very unique. Uh, he's he's one of those guys that can, can wreck a game if you let him. So uh, you got to pay close attention to him, know where he's at, um, and just try to eliminate him from the game. You know, it's going to be tough, but, you know, we got to we gotta know where he's at. And if we know where he's at, um, we'll be all right. But, you know, he's he's one of those guys that can really change the game if you let him. Go one more here, Kevin Bowen. T.Y., when you play Houston, do defenders ever say to you, man, we still can't cover you? Oh, no, no, they, no, they don't say that. I mean, just a division game, um, but it is what it is. You sense frustration from them at all over the years? Uh, I don't really pay attention to it. I just go out there and play my game.